Hey guys, it's Jason the Extra, SCNS Live, powered by Cinelinks.com, and this is Picks from the Rack for October. Oh. Uh, hang on a second. Let me check this out. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm doing it right now. No, I don't want to change anything. What do you mean? You're going to change stuff? Hey, wait a second. I didn't authorize that. Is that a cartoon? What the? Anyway. Okay. Before I get started this week, special shout out to A Galaxy Called Dallas over in Garland, Texas. Go check out A Galaxy Called Dallas. This is where I got my comics from this week. And also, The Elusive Clone Trooper. <laughs> I don't have a problem. So, so my first pick this week is going to be Sixus number three. Or Axis if you call it that. I mean, it looks like a Sixus. But anyway. We see the culmination of the heroes fighting off the Red Onslaught, and it's just a really good book. It's showing that animosity has always been between the Avengers and the X-Men. I love this book, and it's setting it up for some huge changes in the Marvel Universe. Definitely recommend picking up Axis number three and following the storyline. Really digging it. Now, as far as a fun book this week, go ahead and pick up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ghostbusters from IDW. Look, I'm a kid of the 80s. This is great. I love it. I never would have thought the freaking Ninja Turtles and the Ghostbusters would be teaming up. It's a good book. It's funny. I am following this one to the end. I don't even care what the storyline is, which involves some, you know, dimensional travel, which is no stranger to any of these guys. Go check out Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ghostbusters 1. Definitely my next pick for the week. And continuing on with Marvel, it's Deadpool number 36. Deadpool number 36 is seeing a huge change for the Deadpool character. Also, it's setting itself up throughout the book for this big change. We're seeing a different Deadpool. Um, he's still that wisecracking guy, but if you want to get on board with the next big change for the Merc with a Mouth, pick this book up today or tomorrow if you're reading this, if you're watching this kind of late. Whatever. And for my honorable mention this week, go ahead and pick up G.I. Joe number two. This is a filler issue, I'm warning you, but it's probably going to play into the huger storyline that's going on with this. Really hoping this turns out to be a good book because it's really got a more of a movie vibe to me, an actual team worrying about where their next paycheck is coming from and how their funding is going to go. It's a decent book. I definitely recommend picking it up. Also, did you get one of these from your comic shop this week? Look, check it out. You fold it like this, and then you fold it like this. <laughs> so anyway guys that's it for picks from the rack this week once again thank you a galaxy called dallas for having some great comments this week and my stormtrooper and make sure you like this video please subscribe to scns live visit cinelinks.com and until next week guys i'll catch you later